Welcome to ProTide Health's Comprehensive Guide to Peptide Reconstitution. Today we'll walk you through every step and explain why each one matters so you can safely and effectively prepare your peptides. Before we start, let's gather your materials. Your peptide arrives in a powdered form called a lyophilized powder. This freeze-drying process preserves the stability and potency of delicate molecules like peptides. If they arrived pre-mixed, the peptides would degrade quickly and lose effectiveness. Bacteriostatic water is sterile water infused with a small amount of benzyl alcohol. This alcohol acts as a preservative, preventing bacterial growth and extending the life of the reconstituted solution, making it safe to store in the refrigerator for multiple uses. You'll also need alcohol wipes to maintain sterility and two types of syringes, a larger syringe for mixing, preferably a three milliliter syringe that is between 21 and 25 gauge, an insulin syringe, preferably one milliliter and a six mm needle for precise dosing. Step one, cleanliness first. Begin by washing your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Pop off the protective caps, but don't remove the rubber seals. Use an alcohol wipe to sanitize the tops of both vials. A clean surface prevents any bacteria from entering the vials during mixing. Using your mixing syringe, carefully draw up two to three milliliters of bacteriostatic water. Drawing slowly helps maintain accuracy and prevents air bubbles. Step two, inject the bacteriostatic water slowly into the peptide vial, directing the flow down the side of the glass. Avoid spraying directly onto the powder. This protects the fragile peptide structure. Allow the liquid to naturally absorb the powder. Gently swirl the vial. Never shake it. Shaking can cause the fragile peptide molecules to break apart, reducing their effectiveness. Once fully dissolved, your peptide is ready for use. It should appear as a clear, particle-free solution. Step 3. Preparing your dose. Before drawing your dose, clean the vial top again with an alcohol wipe. Use an insulin syringe to slowly draw your exact dose. For precise dosing, Protide Health offers an easy-to-use peptide calculator available online. If you see any small air bubbles, gently tap the syringe to bring them to the top and expel them. A few tiny bubbles are not harmful, but it's best to minimize them for dosing accuracy. Step 4. Subcutaneous Injection Clean a small area of skin on your lower abdomen or thigh. Pinch the skin lightly and insert the needle at a 45 to 90 degree angle. Push the plunger down slowly, then withdraw the needle smoothly. Always dispose of used needles safely into a sharps container or a sturdy puncture-proof container, never directly into the trash. Step 5. Storing your reconstituted peptide. Immediately refrigerate the reconstituted vial between 36 and 46 degrees Fahrenheit, the normal refrigerator range. Avoid freezing or leaving it at room temperature for long periods, as this can degrade the peptide. Typically, a reconstituted peptide remains viable for about 30 days when stored properly. To maximize the effectiveness and safety of your peptide research, always practice sterile techniques, handle peptides gently, and store them properly. Protide Health. Turning the tide on health and human performance.